Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Sarah. I hope everyone is well. Had a little incident with the old man getting up on the table and knocking stuff all over the place. So, whatever order it was in, the order is getting changed for the final seven. Um, Leo, of course, would go last because they went first last time. So, that's for the remainder of everybody else. One more quick round. Capricorn, you're next. All right. Shove Leo in the back. Sorry, Leo. You know I love you. Okay, this reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September. If it resonates with you, good. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given me by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey. I don't mind. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay too. Check your placement and sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And of course, cross watchers are always welcome here. Beat on the cards. Okay. Why are you here, Capricorn? Two of Swords. Decision time. All right. We'll go over what's going on with you. What's going on with the person you're dealing with? The obstacle and the possible resolution. Get you a little bit of advice, and you'll be good for September. Why are you here, Capricorn? Oh, sorry. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with, Capricorn? We already went over why you're here. Salty feelings, much? Six cups reversed. Not so happy memories relating to this person or connection. What do you think of them? The fool in the reverse. You don't trust them any farther than you can throw them. Okay. What do you want from them? Prince of Wands reversed. It's definitely not passionate communication or forward movement. Prince of Wands in the reverse can also indicate commitment, but um, I'm a little confused. I'm not going to lie. How do they feel about you? Eight of Cups reversed. They want you back? They want... They, they feel a return? Possibly a return to the way things were? What do they think of you? Five of Wands, they see you as an extremely confrontational person. Okay. What do they want from you? Strength card came up. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. I also have Aries. A little bit of fire, a little bit of water. Just a little air, mostly fire and water at this point. Hmm. They could just want you to embrace the differences in the relationship or the connection. What's the obstacle? Eight of Pentacles. You could work together. Ability to put work into the relationship, maybe? Possible resolution, two of wands. Letting things go in order to move forward. Okay. Hmm. Let's get some clarity. The way we were. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Capricorn, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. September 2020. Capricorn, 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, September 2020. <coughs> Didn't say anything yet. Fool in the upright, the Six of Pentacles, and the Tower Reverse popped out. We'll see that it play in. I'm going to set those right there for a little bit. Something to do with equal give and take and trust and the rebuilding of a tower. Does that make sense considering what I'm seeing here right now? Mm. All right, why is the Six of Cups hit reversed here? Five of Swords reversed, Two of Wands upright, Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, so... Somebody beat feet and kicked rocks, left the pieces all over the place and stopped talking. I can see why that would lead to some salty feelings. Okay. Why is the fool reversed here? Seven of Wands in the upright, Ace of Cups in the reverse. You don't trust this person any farther than they can throw them. Oh. <laughs> Not feeling the love, I tell you that. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ten of Pentacles. Oh, okay, that's a game changer. It may not be so much that you don't trust them any farther than you can throw them, but you don't trust yourself or your own judgment after this. Because you're just... It's like you're battling your own demons and you're just trying to concentrate on the important stuff. Paying the bills. Living the dream. Making the dream happen. Okay. Maybe that's how you feel about them, is that all they cared about was controlling the dream and how it happened. Super weird. Okay. Why is the Prince of Wands reversed here for what Capricorn wants from the other person? From, of, or... Prince of Wands reversed. Why are you here? King of Cups reversed. One more. United Cups reversed, world reversed. Oh, really? This indicates to me you want to return. But 
there's a possibility that someone couldn't commit possibly because of work or money and just trying to have the dream and I mean Prince of Wands reversed, King of Cups reversed sorry, Knight of Cups reversed Princes and Knights are essentially the same thing it just they're called something different the world reversed, so the cycle not ending King of Cups reversed you want to be able to shut off your sour feelings and allow a return to happen For whatever reason, you can't, why can't you shut off your own sour feelings? That's what I'd like to know. You're in control of your emotions. Don't let somebody pull your puppet strings like that. Super weird. Okay, well, I can see why that would be a difficult decision. Allowing the trust to come back so things are fair and equal and the tower can be rebuilt, you know. See where that comes into play now. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here for how the other person feels about Capricorn? Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? The Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Wands reversed. They want to be able to return too, but they see your head as being so far down in the sand in regards to any new beginning. They see you as not even being open to it. It's like you lock them in the doghouse. I can see, you know, if they beat feet and ditched, you know, I can see that. Just kind of left everything in a shambles. Why is the Ace of Wands, or the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here for how the other person thinks of Capricorn. Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups, Five of Wands. Confrontational, needing to release or end a burden. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Queen of Swords, Honesty. Cutthroat, kind of cold. Just wanting to find your happiness. Possibly they feel like you were only happy if you got your way. Mm. Okay. Wow. Why is strength here for what the other person wants of Capricorn? This is like two narcissists walking to a bar. Just saying. I don't think either one of you are narcissists, though. You just view each other as complete narcissists. Oh, gosh. Four of Pentacles upright, High Priestess reversed. They want the polarities and the differences to be recognized and dealt with, but somebody is holding on to something and has some egotistical tendencies with the High Priestess in the reverse and the Four of Pentacles in the upright. One more on that, please. Holy Moses. Eight of Wands reversed. Stop. I'm hearing stop. Why stop? Why the Eight of Wands reversed? Why stop? Why stop? Why stop?
Temperance. Six of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Improvement in how you relate. I feel like apologies may be in order, a return. Work on it, they want to work on it. They want to work on how you relate to each other. So you're kind of mirroring each other a little bit. So you want to work on it, but for different reasons. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for the obstacle? Nine of Swords. Someone is possibly consumed with work. Or is always at work even when they're not at work. That could be an obstacle in a connection. When somebody's there but not there. I know that's why my marriage suffered, to be perfectly honest with you. That was one of the big reasons my marriage suffered. Because I was always at work, so... Five of Cups, yeah, somebody somebody was there but not there and the other person was just sad. More. Three of Swords, end of the heartbreak. The obstacle is ending the heartbreak. Shaking the swords out. Not being so swordsy. Okay. Why is two of wands here for possible resolution? I'm going to run out of clarifiers here in a second. You're acting like you want to talk. Mm, justice reversed. Acknowledging that the past was not fair and it was not equal. One more. Seven of Pentacles, not losing patience with each other. One more. Eight of Swords. Six of Cups in the upright. Here we go. Okay. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Coming out of that cage of your own thoughts and that, that containment. Coming out of that box. I think this connection puts y'all in a box. You need to let go of the BS from the past. And that's real hard when you got salty feelings going on. Somebody got dusted. That's horrible. You need to let go of the things of the past and move toward a future. Acknowledge that things were not equal and they were not balanced and you lost patience with each other. You need to go back to that place of happiness and contentment when you were happy and okay again. But sometimes making that difficult decision to let go. I mean, it's clear that you both want to start over, but you want to start over on your own terms. It's my way or the highway. You can't be like that. It's called conjunction. It's called
called working together, where things are equal. No, it's hard to be equal. Mm. Wow. Your advice. Seven of Pentacles in the upright, Nine of Swords in the reverse. Be patient and don't overthink it. Be patient and don't overthink it. The Emperor in the upright and the Star in the reverse. If one of you has to be the one in control, this is not going to heal itself. One of you, or the both of you, needs to let go of the control issue. You can't have an equal give and take relationship if somebody has to be in charge. It does not work that way. It really doesn't. So if you expect this to heal, you got to let go of the emperor vibe. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm just reading cards here, gang. I read the cards and I spout what pops off in my head. So I didn't mean to call anybody a narcissist, but this is very much two narcissists walk into a bar. And that's a narcissistic tendency to constantly have to be in control of the other person involved. It's not okay. Three of Wands in the reverse and the Prince of Cups in the upright. Don't wait too long because that cup of opportunity could be gone in a snap. You got that upside down Knight of Cups over here. That one that might want to commit. Um, don't wait too long. Four of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. Release all that restless energy. And don't be so restless about finding all ten cups of happiness. The cups come when they're supposed to. The cups fill when they're supposed to. You can't rely on somebody else to be your tenth cup. Fill your own cups. The hanged man and the upright and karma in the reverse. This is your last little bit of advice because I'm starting to get tired. Whew, I'm getting tired. You have to accept and acknowledge the things of the past. Accept them for what they were. And allow it to let go. Just release it. Don't be emotionally hung up in that tree. The only way to get yourself out of the hangman's tree is acceptance of the fate of the situation. That's how you move up to the next step. That's how you untie those knots. So you're not hanging all upside down and the blood keeps rushing to your brain. Karma reversed. You can't kill something that's not dead, and I don't think this is dead. I think it just went to sleep for a while, so... Might be salvageable, but... <sighs> Find the memories that aren't so salty, I guess. Alright. Love you guys. Capricorn, you guys are always wonderful to us here at Fire Sign Tarot, and we appreciate you very much. Thanks for stopping by. This has been your September reading. Let me know what happens. I love you. Two bits. Be blessed. We'll catch you next time.